Hey there, uh, in this video we will be looking into the simulation of process scheduling using CPU OS simulator. So we have been given a program and I have already loaded the program into this video. If you want to learn how to load the program, just watch my video which is which you can get from this uh, eye icon. So for this uh, process scheduler, uh, we have three kind of process scheduling. One is first come first serve, second is shortest job first and finally it is round robin. So uh, we will be looking into how we are, we'll be looking at the simulation of how we can run this program through uh, CPU OS simulator. So uh, press on this OS simulator. Once you press on this, uh, this window will be coming up with the program list already being popped up here. Uh, it is process scheduling. Now uh, for the first one, we have first come first serve. So our first come first serve scheduler has been selected. And now we have to create four processes. Uh, process one, process two, process three, process four. with a uh, few priorities and arrival delays so i'll create process one and the priority for that is three and the arrival delay is zero seconds so we don't have any arrival delay for process one so let's create a process and once you create a process you will see it here which is it's coming here process one now let's create process two with priority as two and arrival delay as two seconds So it's created and it is here because it is in arrival state. Now process 3 with priority as 4 and arrival delay as I think 4 seconds we can give. So let's give it 4 seconds and then create process. So we see it here and then finally process 4 with priority as 1 and arrival delay as 6 seconds. So for each process we have given a 2 second delay. Now these are the process being loaded. Uh, now we need to find out the uh, elapsed time, average processing time, average process wait time, average bust period and finally uh, the you know, order which the process has been executed. So all those details will get it from this view tab. So uh, to get all the logs we can go and check in this view logs and you will get all the logs here. Uh, to get process list you can click it here we see all the processes ready and loaded and if you want process tree you can press it here and you can see all the process being loaded and functioning how they are so we'll see uh, we'll run it and we'll check so first we'll start the process and then we'll go to view process list and we'll see the process tree we see that it is being loaded and all those things are done and we also go into the logs and we see that logs are also getting printed so we can go and watch the process tree and we see the process is being run, all the process is being run. So finally we see the fourth process was run. And we can close this because the, all the processes are being completed. Now we can go to this view logs and we can see the order in which the process were being executed. So we see process 1 is moved from ready to running state and the elapsed time for process 1 is uh, 0.8 seconds so it's taking 7.67 seconds average waiting time was 0 0.09 seconds and the bust period was 55 now the next which was done was process 2 which is moved from ready to running state so the order is process 1 process 2 and then the, again the detail for the process 2 is given here then process 3 comes and the details and then finally the process 4 so in uh, first come first serve it is process 1, process 2, process 3, process 4 and total average process waiting time is 9.21 seconds so uh, this is what we get it using uh, first come first serve so now let's clear the inputs and Let's go back here. Let's clear all the data. Now what we can do is, now we can select the next um, scheduler which is shortest job first. And again we have to create a few processes. Four process we will create with process one as priority three and uh, the no waiting period. We will just create it here. Then process two with uh, priority as 2 and 
waiting period as two the arrival delay as two seconds and then you can create this process and then process three with uh, priority as four and delay in arrival as four seconds and then finally process four with uh, priority as one and delay in arrival as six seconds and then create the process now in the view we see the log is clear now just let's run this whole program you see the process list again so the process list has no changes so all the processes are running so you see that process 2 is being running run now and now the process 3 is being executed and finally the process 4 so we see here again uh, there was not much uh, change as per uh, for the processes uh, the way they were run in the order they were run because of the process delay so uh, if there was no delay in the uh, process time in the arrival time there would have have been a different difference but we see that again the process one was the first one to be term, uh, executed and then two and then three and then four and finally we see that average process waiting time is 7.57 seconds and all the other details like elapsed time average waiting time and bust count bust period can be uh, for the each individual processes can be taken out from here finally let's move into a uh, round robin uh, scheduler and we can keep uh, the time slice as 5 seconds in this round robin uh, scheduler method and for the priority uh, we have given to select preemptive so we'll select preemptive and now let's create few processes so process 1 with priority 3 and arrival time and there is no delay in the arrival time process 2 with uh, priority 2 and arrival delay as 2 seconds and process 3 with uh, priority 4 and arrival delay as 4 seconds and finally process 4 with uh, priority 1 and arrival delay as 6 seconds so we have created all the processes we have clear let's go clear the log we see the process list is there now let's just start this process and let's go and view the logs so we see process 2 is running now now process 4 is running after that again process 2 now process 1 so process 2 is complete now process 1 came now process 3 so finally all the processes are completed so now let's go and view the logs so we see uh, the first process which moved into the memory for uh, running is from ready to run state was process 1 and then process 2 moved and then again process 2 was there inside and then again then process 4 moved inside because it had more priority and then process 4 moved again into the ready state and then finally process 4 was terminated after once it was complete and then we see the process 2 which uh, took over because it had priority 2 so process 2 took over and then finally it was uh, it finished itself because there was nothing which was um, more prioritized than that and then process 1 which picked up which has prior which had priority as uh, 3 and then it was over and then finally process 3 which picked up and uh, which was finished so we see uh, all the details like uh, average waiting time uh, bust period and uh, elapsed time so all those details we see that uh, for the process 4 it was 0.6 uh, it was 5 seconds for process 2 it was 14 seconds and there was some waiting period of 1.76 seconds and uh, for process 1 it was 22 seconds and with average wait time was 5.08 seconds and for process 3 it was 17.98 seconds waiting period and elapsed time was 4.81 seconds so the average uh, process wait time was 6.42 seconds so these uh, and we see uh, uh, the order was P1, process 1, process 2, process 1, process 3, process 4, 
and then process uh, two and then process one and then process three finally so in that order the program was executed so uh, that's all for this uh, video hope you like this do like and subscribe this channel for more video like this